Hi, are you still with us? <laughs> uh, we've been to Finnovate Europe eight times, but this is the first time we're here in New York. And this is also the first time we have a customer with us on stage. And I'm extremely happy to invite my friend Mark from Tangerine Bank to join us. And Isabel, my colleague, is going to drive our demo. So Menica works with many of the largest banks in Europe, including Unicredit, Santander, Commerce Bank, and Swedbank, to name a few. And we work with banks on aggregating, consolidating, and enriching transactional data. So we're a technology partner. We work on building engagement and kind of best of world user experience. And we're going to be demoing, demoing two apps today, running on the same API. And to kick things off, Mark is going to show us what they've been building for their customers in Canada. Amazing. Uh, thank you, Finner, and hello, Finnovate. Um, at Tangerine, we're pretty passionate about the client experience, and we're pretty passionate about helping our clients to live better lives, and we want to do that by enabling them to make smarter decisions with their money. It's actually one of the reasons why we partner with Miniga, because they, too, share the same vision for banking that we do. So I'm going to demo two features we've actually launched uh, to our over 2 million clients uh, this year. And we really are focused on connecting long-term financial planning with everyday spending. So the first feature I want to share with you is a new concept we have, which is called Left to Spend. So leveraging Maniga's powerful categorization engine, we're able to categorize all the transactions that flow through our clients' accounts. And what we're able to do is identify every month their recurring income. So this is the stuff that comes into their accounts. We then deduct actually what goes out in terms of fixed expenses. So these are things like your mortgage payments or your auto payments, things that are consistently being spent each month. Then we actually deduct your savings and your contributions to goals. And what we're left over with is your variable spending. And our job and our mission is to help our clients through smart insights, optimize their spending so they create more capacity to put towards goals. And speaking of goals, I'm actually gonna show you that feature next. Um, but so far with Left to Spend, we launched it earlier this year, our clients on average are saving more than $189 each and every month with Left to Spend. So it's definitely having a, an impact on our clients, which is good, good for us and, and good for them. I talked about long-term financial planning, and goals really are, for us, our way of actually introducing long-term financial planning to our clients. So we have a, a powerful goal recommendation engine that sits behind the scenes that based on uh, clients and their, and their different needs, we're recommending the right goal for the client at the right time. So in the demo, you'll see that I actually have an emergency fund set up. And this is because Tangerine nudged me to have this emergency fund, which is six months of my spending, um, which is not really my spending, but for the demo it is, um, so that I actually have uh, what I need in case of a rainy day. So I'm going to actually hand it back over to you, Finn, to walk through more of the mini gap. Cheers. So really great stuff. Shows how a bank has taken our technology and UX to heart, but made it their own. But now we're going to switch back to another app. It's our own app that we have running in Iceland, where we have a fantastic community of well-connected people, 99% card-based economy. And we launched this app last November after a, a long redesign phase with hundreds of user tests. And we're seeing really good results. And the focus today is the challenges. So we have 40% of our monthly active users have taken one or more challenge. And the challenges that we've been working on are these personalized spending challenges. Similar to Mark's results, we're seeing that people are saving on average 120 up to $400 per challenge. And they're personalized in a sense that if you don't have a car, you probably wouldn't see that fuel challenge. But instead, if you're in the stop, top spending group for fashion, you might be inclined to save 20% on clothing for one month. So this has been getting really good results. And we also have some quirky concepts like, like the money monster. It's a, a monster that steals random amounts of money from your account. It appeals to people that are less inclined to do regular savings kind of encourages these, these random contribution to, to your savings account. Uh, but we like to do co-innovation with our customers, and we want to show you today something new that came out of a joint design sprint between Menega and Tangerine. And uh, yeah, it's in line with our strategy to go beyond traditional banking when developing new features. 
Perfect. So I'm going to show you uh, something that is about to go into a client beta, something we're calling recipes, but it really is programmable banking for our clients. So Tangerine is the proud official sponsor of the Toronto Raptors. So I'm going to show you a recipe that is a sports recipe where I can actually go in there and if the Toronto Raptors win, it'll automatically transfer. I want to set it up so it'll transfer $10 from my checking account into my savings account. And this is just a, one of a host of the types of recipes we're going to enable for our clients, but we think it's actually a pretty interesting and unique way for our clients to contribute to goals and to save more money. And in a similar way, in Iceland, we're more obsessed with football. I believe you call it soccer over here. A tiny nation managed to get to the, the World Cup. And every time the national team wins a game, I can to transfer $100 to my savings and be there the next time they, they go on a, you know, a winning trip somewhere. Um, but in this case, we're working with kind of the random elements and feelings associated with sport, but you could customize this to any type of sporting data. Uh, myself, on the topic of sport, I'm a, I'm a certified middle-aged man in Lycra. I'm always looking for ways to save up for a new bike. So in this case, the app knows that I'm a Strava Pro subscriber and has you know, asked me to connect the two apps. And it means that now I can make every ride count to my, my next uh, bike purchase. And I can even make it more contextualized so that I can pick my old racer there. These are my actual numbers. And every time I complete a ride, I'm saving up for, a, for that bike that I have my eyes set on. So in the same way, I could save up for a concert when I listen to a band on Spotify, offset my carbon footprint when I buy a flight ticket, or this rainy day thing where I save money where it actually rains. We had the worst summer ever in Iceland. <laughs> so if you like these concepts, if this is something you'd like to bring to your customers, come to our stand. We'd love to have a discussion. We've got tangible results with different types of UX here today. And have a great Finnoit.